Hello, my lovely wolf pack. We're back with yet another terrifying story. I've talked about a couple of things lately, but today we're going to talk about the terrifying case of Psycho Sam. Before I start the video, remember to like and subscribe to my channel, follow me on everything, and links in the description for my last video if you have not seen it, or you can click the end screen at the end of the video. Fade in to the intro. Alright, if you haven't, if you don't know who Psycho Sam is, he is, well he was, a horrorcore rapper. Now, horrorcore rap is rap with death metal lyrics in it, and it's very dark and gruesome, and it's my thing, but not everyone likes it, that's fine. I had gum in my mouth. But, essentially... Okay, so essentially, he literally, I'm not going to put this, his songs are so dark that I like them. Now, here's what happened. We're going to start from the beginning. How about that? So, <clears throat> we're going to just talk about his rising in the fame. He was a small timer uh, rapper, but then as he got more famous and famous with these hardcore people who like death metals, and um, heavy metal and um, stuff like horrorcore rap. So he started rising to fame because, you know, I'm not the only one who likes that shit. But he was well demented. Like, I mean, most people who write these songs just to make them have no intention of acting out these lyrics, but he did. And I, uh,. I want to say I'm sorry to all the people who are affected by this, but it's too late. Nothing we can do. So, yeah. Further, we're going to move on. Um, how can I say? Who is Psycho Sam? Well, Richard Samuel McCraw McCrowski, sorry, the third, a 20-year-old rapper in the underground genre horrorcore. Yeah, most things underground are pretty cool who sang chop of chopping up people into pieces has been arrested in connection to the slang and crime scene was so horrifying police would not even describe it, saying only that the victims died of blunt force trauma. The victims were Mark, uh, years old, the beloved poster, uh, Walker, his 16-year-old daughter, Emma. Now, I'm going to say something. He claims to be innocent, which pretty much all criminals do. He killed, damn it, he killed his fucking, he brutally murdered his 16 year old girlfriend and her entire family. Later on, he was eventually caught at the airport trying to flee the scene as you can see from this footage. And he was arrested. I believe he was also sentenced to murder. So, yeah. yeah. Looked into evil in the face, cannot deny that it exists. The windows. Isabel, venue home some of the time after the slayings. The killings have affected every fabric of the community, the churches, the colleges, and their youth. This kind of town that goes to the rescue of survivors, but there's nobody left. We can't do anything about it, he said. All I can say... Alright, so apparently it doesn't say that he was murdered or sentenced to death. I believe he was. I've heard someone say he was sentenced to death, but I'm not sure. But he also lived in Virginia, which is pretty nice of a state. It's still a nice state. I honestly think that this guy looks terrifying, as you can see from the photos that I've been using in this video. Not all rappers of horrorcore are evil like this. They're not all evil. 
I've seen some that are pretty nice, and some of them even have children, and they're rarely respected, but this, this guy is terrifying. Now, I've talked about ghosts and demons and vampires on my channel before, but like I said before, I do believe in them. However, the chances are of you encountering them are pretty low, unless you go out to venture for them. But this right here, this, this man, hold up, sorry. This man is one of the most terrifying things you can encounter because there's a more chance you might encounter someone like this than a ghost. And yet again, I want to say I'm sorry to all the family and friends who are affected by this. It is a tragedy that you all died, and this asshole, I am hoping, is dead in the ground because he doesn't need to be in jail. He needs to be in a morgue, dead. Okay? He killed his girlfriend and her whole entire family, and yet, what is it? What is he get? Hmm? What does he get? He gets. Th he, he might have gotten thrown in jail. No. He needs to be dead. The universe needs balance. It's called an eye for an eye. And before you say, oh, an eye for an eye makes everyone go blind, fuck that. It's how it works. But, yes. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And, uh, yeah. If you want more scary videos, let me know in the comments and I will get to going.